Recent archaeological excavations may be uncovering the ancient city of Bethsaida, the original hometown of Peter, Andrew, and Philip, disciples of Jesus. According to the New Testament and the first century Jewish historian Josephus, Bethsaida was located on the northeast side of the Sea of Galilee, just east of where the upper Jordan River enters the sea. Two ruins, one called Et Tel and the other called El Araj, are the best candidates for ancient Bethsaida. El Araj is on the seashore, Et Tel is a mile and a half north. Here are the excavated ruins at Et Tel, and under these trees, near the shore, is El Araj. Et Tel has been excavated during summer seasons over the last 30 years, since 1987. From the New Testament and the historian Josephus, we would expect to find archaeological remains of two specific periods at ancient Bethsaida. There would be a Jewish fishing village of the early first century. Then, Josephus tells us that Herod Philip, the Roman ruler of the area, built up Bethsaida into a city and named it after Caesar's wife, Julius. Herod Philip was buried in Bethsaida Julius. The problem with identifying Et Tel as ancient Bethsaida Julius is that there are little to no archaeological remains from these two periods found here. What has been found at Et Tel are ruins of a significant city from the Old Testament period, like this large city gate. Et Tel was a city of Geshur, a people that remained in the land during the conquest under Joshua. Later, King David married a princess from Geshur, who became the mother of Absalom. At one point, Absalom fled and stayed in Geshur for three years. During the divided monarchy, northern Israelite kings like Ahab and Jeroboam II battled with Aramean kings for control of the area. Because the archaeological remains at Et Tel are mostly from the Old Testament period, like this city gate with its pagan shrines, some historians and archaeologists have suspected that the first century AD site of Bethsaida Julius is at another nearby ruin called El Araj. The Araj ruin lies on the Sea of Galilee shore, just east of where the upper Jordan River winds its way into the sea. This location fits the geographical descriptions of Bethsaida Julius, given in both the New Testament and Josephus. Note the Sea of Galilee high water bank along this line. The Araj ruins sit right on the high water bank. After hundreds, even thousands of years of abandonment, it is typical that ancient ruins are covered over with dirt and brush. Modern archaeology brings the ruins to light. El Araj has so far been excavated for two summer seasons. The excavated areas of the 2016 season can be seen here partially hidden among the trees. Not far below the surface, archaeologists uncovered significant ruins like this column, walls, and street or floor pavements. Excavations continued in the summer of 2017. Walls that may be a Byzantine period church were further defined. Deeper yet, remains of a mosaic tile and clay tubes which were part of a Roman period bathhouse were discovered. Such a building would be the type of structure we would expect to find in the first century AD city of Julius. Further excavation may reveal that El Araj is the location of the first century AD city of Bethsaida Julius.